The Advanced Applique tool is one of the most powerful tools in our software. It allows me to work with existing embroidery designs and turn them into appliques. If I wanted to eliminate the large amount of fill area in these flowers and replace it with applique, I would use the Advanced Applique tool. The outlines of the flowers do not have to be closed objects. The lines do have to touch, creating a closed object, but it can be made up of all different types of decorative stitching, and just as long as the lines are touching, I'm allowed to create an applique inside of that closed space. When you're working with existing embroideries, you want to eliminate the amount of clutter that you're going to show the tool. For this design, the only objects that I really want to take into Advanced Applique and have it analyzed are the black outlines. And then I can eliminate all these colors of fill stitching and replace it with fabric. The easiest way to eliminate the excess clutter is going to be to change the objects that I'm viewing on the screen. Come up to the View menu and drop down to View by Color and select Black. Select OK. And now the only objects I have to work with are the black outlines. I can select my group and select Advanced Applique. When the Applique Properties dialog pops up, I have white crosshatched areas in which I can place Applique. The first thing I'd like to do is place some fabric which will generate my stitching. Place fabric and color in patches, select that, and select from your favorite fabric collection. I'm going to go into Benetex 13 and select the fossil ferns. I'll select a pretty color that I'd like to fill this flower. And now I'm going to select each closed area that the tool finds and fill it with fabric. As soon as the fabric is applied, you'll see that the stitching is automatically generated in the color film work all the way around and select each one of the objects and fill it with fabric. I'm going to fill the last petal with fabric. Now that I have all of my objects, it, it wouldn't be very practical to have to applique each one of these individual petals. And so I'd like to combine them into one solid piece of fabric. And Advanced Applique lets me do this. I'll select Back and select the option to merge patches together. When I select that, I can select an object, it turns red, and then I can select an adjacent object, and these two combine and merge. You continue selecting one object and an adjacent object, and you work all the way around the flower until it becomes one object. And now I'm going to select my last bit here, the flower, and now the adjacent petal, and the two will combine, and so finally my, my individual objects are now combined into one piece, and now that I've finished merging, I can select back, and I can set my stitch types manually. Select this option and select inside of your fabric. That activates the dialog and then I can select my options. For this because of the decorative stitching I don't want to tack down so I can click to deselect tack down. I would like to have a cutting line if I would be cutting in place and so I could select cutting line. The software will generate this cutting line. I can use it for cutting or I could use it to transfer this cutting line out to a, another software where I could cut this automatically where I'd stack maybe four different colors of fabric up and have them pre-cut. So I'll select back and close and my design now is almost ready with this one flower as an applique. If I go to view and view all colors, you can see that I now have applique instead of fill. And so holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, I can select this area of fill. Let me deselect, Alt, select, and select delete. And so the purple area of fill has now been replaced by applique fabric. 
replace all of these areas with applique and my design would be really easy to execute in just four colors of applique fabric.